Hello, I'm Susie, the Training Ambassador of Mayflower. Today's hot little tip is going to entail seven 160s of colors that are going to match your balloon and 20 little 5 inch balloons. With the 5 inch balloons, what we want to do is something a little different here and you're going to take the balloon onto your pump here and pretty much narrow that neck down so that your air is going directly into the bulb of the balloon and then hold it pretty tight at the neck and just give it about a pump maybe a pump in it a little less these uh, vary in sizes when you're making these so they don't all have to be exactly the same size but um, small and I like to give it a twist before I tie it in a knot and that just ensures that all of my air is going to go into the bulbous of the balloon and not the neck so that when I tie it, it turns into a nice little round ball. So let me show you that again. Just going to pump it up so that it's just round and then take the neck pretty tight around the balloon and then when you're tying the knot, just force that knot to the base of the balloon so that it becomes a little ball. So we'll just do a couple more of those so you can see what I'm doing here. It's going to go around my two fingers, pull this through. Okay, so you get the idea. You're going to want to blow up 20 balloons and have them all in this little round ball with a tail on them. Now as far as your 160s go, what we're going to do is just tie them after we pump them up. So what I'm using here is a little pocket pump. It makes it a lot easier to get the nozzle at the end of the um, base of the balloon. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Now here kind of comes the new tricky part, is I'm going to take the end and tie it so that I have just a small little balloon and then I'm going to do what we call a pinch twist. So I'm going to bring the balloon over, pinch it, and twist it. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to pinch it and twist it. Then I'm going to take the end of the inflation valve and just twist it around here so that I've got a nice little place, a little unit to put one of my balloons. So I'm going to take this balloon put it at the base of those three little bubbles and wrap it around and then I'm just going to clip the end of the balloon off so that this just kind of sits at the end of this. So let me show you that again. I'm just going to take the end and make a small bubble, pinch twist, Pinch twist again so that I have just a little unit to place my balloon on. I'm going to take it, wrap it around, and then I'm just going to cut the tail off. And I'm just going to create a little platform for this balloon to sit on. So you have two ends that look like this. I'm going to show you that one more time because um, it's pretty important that you get this. So we're just going to blow this up almost all the way to the end. Let a little bit of air out. I'm going to take the end, pinch it, twist the balloon itself, give myself a pinch twist, and another little pinch twist. Now that I have this, I'm going to take the end and just tie it around the base. So they have what kind of looks like three little coffee beans sitting right there, which holds as a platform for the end of this balloon. As soon as I wrap it around, I'm just going to take off the mechanics here. Bulb just 
towards the end here. Now that I'm on this side, it's just going to be a little pinch. Another pinch twist. And another little pinch twist. I'm going to take my balloon. Do a little figure eight around here. Cut this tip off. So that just neatly sits at the end here. So I'm going to do that with five balloons. So I just have this series of balloons. So now I'm going to kind of get the middle of them and put them all together. Okay, now we're going to take our fun bossa say balloon that have all these little dots in them, and I'm just enhancing the dots with this little piece. So this is just going to go at the base here. Twist the these things so that they're all on here. And now we can just kind of bend these down a little bit. So that they all sit like this. Okay, I did say 20 balloons. So now what we want to do is take one of these little 5 inch balloons and I think it's easiest to start at the bottom and all I'm going to do is just take my fingers and tie this around the base of my ribbon and then I'm just going to clip this off and I'll do that again about four fingers up or so that these all go the same way. As a matter of fact, it's, it's probably a better art if they're all going in different directions. So about four fingers up. I'm just going to take my finger around the ribbon and then just wrap the balloon around it and tie it through. up, just taking my fingers, wrapping it around, putting it through. Clipping it off, so that it just creates this fun little illusion. We can do another one, about four fingers up, take this, cut off the excess. Now we have everything completely decorated for this really wild child and now I'd like to show you how we can cover up the base of this. So what I've done is I've gone ahead of time and I've inflated two 160s and I've tied them end to end. Now just take the ends in one hand, stretch it, bring it together, give it a twist, Hold the two ends together, and do that again, give it a twist, and this kind of creates a, like a red sea anemone look. 
again, this is going to cover up the weight, but I thought it would be cute if we could add some little balloons to that. So I have another one of these 5-inch balloons, and I'm just going to wrap it around the base here. And I have another various sized one. I'm just going to take it and wrap it around the base here. Another various sized one. I'm just going to take it and wrap it around the base. And you can just create whatever you want. You could put one inside if you like, keep it outside. And then this is just going to sit at the base, covering up your weight. And you just want to twist this around. So that you have this fun little piece coming up. Okay, so this is what you can put on your sales floor for this boss's day. I hope this tip has been helpful and that you make lots of sales and have yourself a wonderful boss's day. Thank you for joining us today.